Hello, this is your FF4 Nutjob. I, I mean, H.C. Bailey. And welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV on the PC. Uh, this LP is based on the 3D versions of the game, which is much more difficult than the 2D versions. So uh, this LP won't apply to that if you're playing those versions. Uh, I would recommend my Final Fantasy IV Complete LP for that. Uh, I'll go over the specific changes as we play along here, but if you're curious about the specific changes right now, I've posted a link in the video description for you guys. So let's get started. New game. Now, for the PC, iPhone, and Android versions of the game, we get a difficulty option. Uh, of course, I will be playing on hard mode, which I believe is identical to the difficulty of the original DS version, where you didn't have a choice. So uh, if you want to play along with this LP on a portable device, you can, though I'm playing the version that I bought from Steam here. Now, of course, the most obvious changes to the game here are, well, the 3D graphics and the voice actor cutscenes. They really went all out on the Nintendo DS remake, the original one. Right? I like how they called him Load Captain in the iPhone version. <laughs> Lord Captain, we're nearly to the barren border. Yeah, it was a so typo, obviously. Troubles here too. Orders may be orders, but this, this goes too far. How bad could it possibly be? Aren't you gonna pull out your sword there, or are you just gonna stand there posing? Or maybe not? You'd figure a, vi a village of wizards would be able to put up more of a fight. I wonder why Lord they Captain. didn't. We're the Red Wings, the pride of Barry. Must we now be thieves sent to plunder from the weak? Yes. Enough. They weren't that weak. Captain, the Mycidians offered no resistance, and still we cut them down. Oh. Hmm. Listen to me. I wonder why we that was. no more than what our kingdom's peace and prosperity required us to do. The Mycidians knew too much of the crystal and its secrets. His majesty deemed it so. We are the Red Wings of Baron. It is not our place to question the orders of our king, Lord Captain. What, having airships Captain, and uh, bombs dropping out of the sky isn't power enough for you? Well, anyway, okay, so we got our first battle of the game, and unlike the 2D versions of the game, we actually have to take command here. So, go down to items. If you want to use the Red Fang, like the 2D versions, you can, but I'm not going to. Let's just use our regular physical attacks here. What? I can't one-shot these guys like the 2D versions of the game? Nah, I can't do that anymore. Yeah, these guys, well, one of the things they made, did with this version of the game is they made the enemies remotely threatening. I mean, they can actually deal more than one damage and they take more than one hit to kill. Another thing they changed is how a lot of the abilities work in the game. Obviously, darkness here, you can see, doesn't just deal damage to all enemies like it did before. Uh, what it does here is it's more like the modern Final Fantasy games where you attack an enemy with darkness on, you deal double damage, you take a little bit of damage yourself there. So, and I think that kind of makes sense with uh, how the Dark Knight class works. Everyone all right? Aye. But all these monsters as of late. Disturbing, is it not? I wonder what it bodes. We've reached the castle, my lord. Well, I was the one who was doing all the heavy lifting. Landing, men. How did you guys all get hurt? Maybe they were fighting other monsters off screen. I don't know. So where are you going to land those things anyway? I don't see, like, a landing pad or, or anything like that. But, well, whatever. Uh, as you can tell, obviously, they remixed the music for the 3D versions of the game. Okay, let's go. But yeah, like I was saying with the abilities in the game, I mean, some of them are the same, but well, a lot of them were changed or rebalanced or, well, whatever they did with them. So yeah, that's one of the things they did to uh, make the game a, a, re a decent challenge, actually. There's some parts that are brutally unforgiving, but uh, well, we'll get to that and I'll warn you how to deal with those. Sometimes though, there's just nothing you can do. Sometimes the game says, hey, you get to reset now after not saving for the past half hour. 
but oh well. But it does make it more thrilling to uh, actually get through everything. How could you not tell? The thing's huge. Oh, well, I guess if you make it invisible like that. So, what does that thing do, anyway? Is it like an iPod? No. No. Oh, well, it's just my, my men. I'm just trying to get them all in line. You got any advice? Sorry if I'm going through the dialogue a little too quickly there. You insolent fool! Well, he is being insolent. Well, it was just my men. I have no problem with you. I mean, I'm a dark knight. Sounds like a plan. I mean, after all, I am a badass freaking overlord. Well, he is. He's Lord Captain. Hey, how's it going? What are you doing here, anyway? So now I'm just... I've been turned... demoted into a mailman? That's great. Couldn't anyone do that? I mean, is it really... the best idea to send your... Uh, two strongest soldiers to... become mailmen, essentially? Well, I guess it could be pretty dangerous. But still! But yeah, now they're not just summons or whatever. They use the uh, Final Fantasy IX terminology with idolins and all that stuff. So, that part I like, how they change some of the dialogue. A lot of the dialogue in the game, though, they seem to make it needlessly complex. Like, you need a dictionary to understand some of it. But anyway, yeah, another new thing about the 3D versions is that you get these little thought bubbles here to see what people are thinking about. So basically, kind of like Party Talk in the Dragon Quest games, except there's not nearly as much of it. I mean, I could probably show all the character thoughts at every point in this game pretty easily without dragging the LP too much. Dra Dragon Quest, though... There's just so much of it. I mean, I like it, don't get me wrong, but there's just so much. I mean, I could double the length of an LP by showing all of it. <laughs> so, I like how they put Bagan here instead of just some random other soldier guarding the king there. I mean, he is the captain of the guards and all that. Oh, well, yeah, I suppose so. No problem sending other people to act on his beliefs either, apparently. Nah, I wouldn't worry about it. You're just being paranoid. Oh yeah, another thing I wanted to do here. Let's go into the settings here. Let's see, I want to turn up the battle speed a little bit there. Well, all the way. <laughs> and uh, one nice thing about the PC version is that you could just turn off the music if you want. So if you, like, you're doing some level grinding or you're trying to farm some items, turn that off and... Turn on some music, or a video, or whatever you want to do. Okay, how's it going? Another nice little touch-up that they made here, they give the other soldiers around here dragoon outfits. So it's not like Kane is the only dragoon. I mean, he's the commander of the dragoons, but he's the only one of them. So, how does it even work? But yeah, I like how they changed it here. I mean, okay, he has a different color. Alright, that's fine. Eh, don't worry about it. We'll be fine. Uh, that's kind of what Dark Lords of the Sith do, Cecil. 
Besides, how do you get trained in something like that when there's no other Dark Knights? I mean, you're, you're kind of the only one. You're THE Dark Knight of Baron. But yeah, another nice thing that they changed in the 3D versions of the game is that, well, they add a lot more backstory and depth to the characters. Well, maybe not a lot, but enough. But they still essentially keep the story true to the original there. It's not like Lufia DS, where they really changed a lot of how the plot ha happened and really condensed a lot of it and all that stuff. I mean, the plot is essentially the same as the original in here. But they simply augment it, add more detail, make the characters not seem as flat or uh, vanilla. So I like how they changed it. That's really the big thing that I love about the 3D versions of the game compared to the 2D versions. The battle mechanics? Well, that's a different story, but uh, well, we'll get to that when, when we get there. How's it going? Oh, can I do a side quest getting some uh, notas for you? No, no, that's another game of yours. Ah, huh? well, there you are. What about Kiraja? Hmm, I guess they don't know about that one. Well, some Final Fantasy games don't have it, so I suppose it's understandable. Hmm. Uh, well, she's not in the party right now, so yeah, I wouldn't worry about her. She'll be fine. I wonder if we had some white mages with us when we invaded Mysidia. Maybe they just cast silence on all of them and they were like, No! I don't know. No wonder they couldn't fight back. We used an anti-magic field or something. Well, keep up the good work. No, no, not really. Well, I don't have any black mages in my party, but I'll keep that in mind. Well, keep researching for that stuff. You can't just expect the answer to fall out of the sky. But anyway, if you go over here... Ah, okay. So, yeah, we'll just hit the switch on the wall there. Boom, we can get access to some treasure. So, let's go take that stuff. Yeah, one thing about Gil, or any, well, yeah, just money in the game in general, is that it's in much shorter supply in this version of the game than the 2D versions there. So, you want to spend it wisely. I mean, we'll still have enough to buy everything that I care about, but it's just something to keep in mind there. Do they got a rainbow treasure that or rainbow shelf down there? No. No, that's another game too. Hmm, can I at least open the door? No. Can't even open it this time around. Who gives, game? Hmm? Oh, aren't I the fleet master? Well, I guess I'm the captain, not the fleet master, or engineer, or whatever. Well, I'm an engineer, but you know what I mean. Hmm. Eh, I wouldn't worry about it. He's just probably getting old and crotchety. Oh. Wonder why. What's in that tower anyway? Eh, I wouldn't worry about it. Pay no attention to that, viewers. All those locked doors? Yeah, we can't do anything with them. For now. But anyway, uh, one thing I wanted to, some things I wanted to go over about uh, how I'm going to be handling this LP. Uh, for those who didn't see the previous videos or the announcements or whatever uh, I am going to be banning slow for the LP for the most part uh, except the post game stuff main storyline I'm going to be uh, yeah banning slow because well I think the bosses should get some time to actually do stuff make things more interesting and you don't really need it anyway. It's not as obscene as it was in the 2D versions of the game where you could practically sl uh, slow lock them into doing nothing. So, yeah, we can't leave the castle right now, so let's get get back to our tower there, then. 
Uh, I'm also going to be banning any debilitating statuses against bosses if they're susceptible to them, like anything that would do uh, paralysis or sleep or stop against them. Because, well, basically the idea is I want to make give the bosses some time to actually show off what they can do. I know a lot of people were concerned about that from the uh, PSP version of the game when I LP'd that. So, I'm going to try to address that here. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about that. Hmm? Oh, oh, sorry. First I thought she said I'll visit you and your tower later. I was like, wait, what? Another thing that I'm going to be avoiding in this LP is uh, level grinding. I'm not going to do any level grinding uh, during the main storyline there, but I will be going for a 100% bestiary completion. So, I don't know, maybe you consider that grinding, but I'm not going to get, like, really over-leveled during the LP. Well, let's talk to some of the prisoners, why not? Another thing I'm going to be doing when I get to uh, towards the end of the game is once I hit about level 60, I'm going to, because that's when I would have learned all the spells in the game, or most of them anyway, the ones I care about. Yeah, um, when I get to level 60, I'm going to stop fighting repeat monsters, or, well, monsters that I've already fought before. So, as to prevent myself from getting obscenely over-leveled, because by the time you get to level 60, you should be fine. Uh, another thing is that I'm not going to be farming any equipment from enemies in the game. Uh, one thing they changed in this game was how the drop table works, and it's a lot easier to get uh, uncommon equipment drops from enemies. You could farm them relatively quickly if you wanted to. I'll point some of them out. Oh, there's the Fleet Master. But yeah, for the most part, I... Yeah, I'm not... Well, yeah, well, I'm not at all going to be farming equipment from enemies there, even though it is easier, but I don't think it's necessary. Well, okay, I'll do the best I can, man. I got demoted. Well, someone's got to do it. Who else would? Man, everyone's being so paranoid around here. Well, yeah, of course. Uh, if you don't want to build an aircraft for war, the military is not the best place, or the best people to be working for. I, I don't know. Call me crazy. I, I think that might be a conflict of interest there, or a bad idea. Well, you gotta check in with your kids? I would think it would be the other way around, but then again, I wouldn't know. So. How's it going? Well, ow! My liver! No. Nah, no, nah, he probably wasn't hurting the liver. But, well, it's nice that we got a good infirmary in here. Oh, man. Oh, that's really my liver. My liver! My liver! Well, yeah, we kind of landed. Oh, yeah, another thing I almost forgot about. Uh, as far as uh, item drops goes, uh, one very important one, the rainbow pudding. I will try really, 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 really hard to get it during the LP when it becomes necessary. I won't farm it as soon as it becomes available, but, well, the latest point that I possibly could. Or about there. Oh, and we got a... Uh, Final Fantasy XII Moogle. Now, I guess they made the naming way into one of those guys. But yeah, with the rainbow pudding, I'm... Like I said, I'll try really hard to get it, but if my patience run, it runs out, well, I'll get it later. But I would like to try and get it as soon as it becomes available. 
or as soon as it becomes necessary for a side quest later on. So, well, we can change our name with this guy, so let's go do that. Since I'm playing the PC version, just use my keyboard here to do that. We only got five letters for the name, so I'll just go with a majestic sounding name. Huh? What do you mean? I could do that in Final Fantasy X, and that had voice acting. Nuts. Well, where are you gonna go? I'm just gonna cut you out of the game? Well, we'll see him again later. But yeah, can't change names in this game, but I, this version of the game, but I do like how they uh, kept him in still. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, I got my own maid and everything. Must be rich. Okay, so yeah, walk up to the bed and yeah, let's rest up now. Well, we got twin moons and everything here. Your Majesty, what's become of you? Sleeping your armor? Where is the noble knight, the man who took me in as an orphan and raised me as his own? The strong, just king I once knew. Well, he's old now. Is a crystal worth all this? Robbing a peaceful people of what's theirs by right. What need could be so great? I don't think the moons have the answer for King's you, Cecil. orders or no. There's no forgiving what we've done. Eh, I wouldn't worry about it. We'll never see Cecil? them again. Won't you tell me what happened? First you're sent off to Mycidia, and now to hunt some beast again so soon? Did something happen in Mycidia? Well, I'm at the top of the military. No, it's nothing. Who else is going to do that? Then why won't you look at me? Gotta earn my paycheck and everything, I, so... In Mesidia, we... We stole a crystal from people who had done no wrong. They had the crystal. That's I've what they did wrong. I've worn this darkened armor for so long now. There's no mode of light left in me. Well... Not even in my heart. Yeah, it's kind of in the job description. You're a good man, Cecil. Both literally and figuratively. I'm a coward. A coward who cannot even defy orders he knows he ought not follow. Cecil of the Red Wings is many things, but he is no coward. Well, you weren't not there. The Cecil who I love. The King is sending you to Mist to slay the Eidolon, isn't he? If anything were to happen to you, I couldn't... I'm surprised they went to as much Maybe effort as they did to lip-sync some fine. of the dialogue. I mean, obviously, I mean, come on. You should get some It's rights. Nintendo DS graphics, just upscaled. So, you know, how much are they really going to be able be to careful. do with that? But Still, I think it's a nice touch. Thank you, Rosa. But I know what I've become. Isn't it going to get pretty cold with the windows open like that? I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Well, let's get going. Let's get this show on the road. Maybe Kane sleeps in the right tower there. Maybe that's why they keep that thing locked all the time. Shall we then, Cecil? I'll be counting on you, my friend. Then you've nothing to fear. I'm never in fear with you by my side, Liam. I, I mean, Kane. What, they need to have a fanfare for us leaving? Well, I suppose. Well, why not? I would think they would do that on the way back, though, after we returned with our victory. But, okay. Whatever works for you guys. But yeah, that is one thing with the... I was saying about the, the graphics earlier obviously since i mean this is basically just an upscale of the ds version of the game but it's on one screen now now obviously since they upscaled it there's going to be some 
uh, well, they just basically tried to stretch it as proportionally as they could, but but when you like have the 3D cutscenes and you really zoom in, some things are going to look a little pixelated simply because, well, the game was originally meant for a really, really tiny screen, not, you know, a full 20, 25 inch monitor there. So, yeah, some, th but some things are going to look a little pixelated like that. But really, I only mostly notice it during cutscenes when they really zoom in on stuff. Otherwise, at least in my opinion, I think it looks fine. I'm not that huge of a critic of the graphics there. But, well, if you are, well, you can play one of the mobile versions if you think that looks better to you. I just like the amenities of the, the PC version better. And not to mention, it's all on one screen. So it's obviously a lot easier to record. And I don't have to do those split screens with the editing or anything like that. I've heard some people said that they've had problems with uh, the FPS on the PC version of the game. Um, I don't notice it myself, but uh, I do have a fairly powerful computer. I mean, it's a few years old, but, well, still, well, I don't know. I, I, just so you know, viewers, um, I'm not IT, I'm not tech support, so uh, if there's a technical problem you're having with the PC version of the game, well, sorry, I, I don't know much about that area of expertise there. I'm happy to answer any gameplay questions about the game, but, you know, technical questions, well, that's, that's not what I do, so, sorry. But anyway, got some character thoughts here, and if you switch party members to whoever's in the lead there, you can get a more party, or party talk, or character thoughts, or whatever there. Well, it couldn't be that powerful there, but, oh well. Okay, so that's everything we can do in the castle there. I'm going to run into some enemies around here eventually and uh, try to get them to complete my beast here. How hard could they possibly be? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.